Welcome to our video on absolute advantage theory. Today, we'll explore Adam Smith's groundbreaking idea that revolutionized international trade. Often regarded as the father of modern economics, Adam Smith introduced many innovative concepts, with the theory of absolute advantage being one of the most influential. In essence, it refers to a country's ability to produce a good more efficiently than another country. This highlights the potential benefits of specialization and trade between nations. Understanding absolute advantage is fundamental to grasping global trade dynamics. Smith's theory laid the foundation for modern economic thought, explaining why countries engage in trade and how they can mutually benefit. In this video, we aim to simplify this core economic principle and illustrate its importance in today's interconnected world. As we delve deeper, you'll discover the significant impact absolute advantage has had on international economics and how it continues to shape global trade policies. Stay with us as we unveil the intricacies of this transformative theory and its practical applications. Welcome to our deep dive into the life and legacy of Adam Smith, often hailed as the father of modern economics. Born in 1723 in Kirkcaldy, Scotland, Smith was a philosopher and economist who introduced groundbreaking ideas still influencing global economic policies. His seminal work, The Wealth of Nations, published in 1776, laid the foundation for economics. Smith dissects the mechanics of wealth creation and introduces pivotal concepts like the division of labor and the invisible hand, a metaphor for the self-regulating marketplace. Smith emphasized that free markets, driven by self-interest and competition, could lead to prosperity and efficiency, laying the groundwork for classical economics. Understanding the man behind the theory gives valuable insights into his motivations and the broader context of his contributions. Smith's vision provided the intellectual backbone for the theory of absolute advantage, which we'll explore next. Stay tuned to see how Smith's ideas continue to thrive and evolve in modern economic thought. Absolute advantage refers to a country's ability to produce a good more efficiently than another, using fewer resources or less time. Introduced by Adam Smith, this concept is fundamental to understanding international trade and economic specialization. Unlike other economic theories, absolute advantage focuses on production efficiency rather than comparative costs. If country A can produce more of a product with the same amount of resources as country B, country A has an absolute advantage. The principles revolve around maximizing efficiency and output, encouraging nations to specialize in goods where they hold an absolute advantage. This increases global productivity and fosters beneficial trade relationships. As we delve deeper, will uncover how these principles distinguish absolute advantage from other economic theories and understand its practical applications. Stay tuned to see how this concept shapes global trade dynamics and impacts economies worldwide. Imagine country A produces wine more efficiently than country B, and country B produces cloth more efficiently than country A. This is absolute advantage in action. Country A focuses on wine, leveraging its efficiency, while country B specializes in cloth. By trading, both countries maximize production and efficiency. Consider Brazil's climate, giving it an absolute advantage in coffee production, and Japan excelling in manufacturing electronics due to advanced technology. By trading, each nation benefits from superior coffee and cutting-edge electronics, enhancing economic prosperity. When countries recognize their absolute advantages, they optimize resource allocation, reduce production costs, and improve goods quality. This strengthens economic relationships and boosts global trade efficiency. Moving forward, you'll see expert insights on the modern relevance of absolute advantage and how this theory continues to shape international trade. We spoke with Dr. Jane Doe, an expert in international trade, to understand the modern relevance of absolute advantage. Dr. Doe explains that Smith's theory continues to play a significant role in today's global economy. Understanding absolute advantage helps nations identify their strengths and maximize efficiency. Dr. Lo Du provides examples. China has leveraged its absolute advantage in manufacturing, leading to significant growth, while the U.S. benefits from its advantage in technology and innovation, driving global advancements. She also highlights the importance for emerging economies. By focusing on their absolute advantage, 
developing countries can improve competitiveness and integrate effectively into the global market. Dr. Du emphasizes that absolute advantage is a dynamic tool adapting to modern economic landscapes. As we delve further, you'll see how absolute advantage addresses misconceptions and counter arguments, clarifying its true impact on global trade. Stay with us, stay with us as we explore this foundational economic principle, deconstructing myths and analyzing criticisms. There are several misconceptions about absolute advantage. One common myth is that it only benefits wealthy countries. In reality, any nation can gain from specializing in goods they produce most efficiently. Another misconception is that absolute advantage assumes static market conditions, yet the theory adapts to changes in technology and resources. Some think this idea ignores the benefits of trade for developing nations, but it's quite the contrary. When less affluent countries focus on their strengths, they improve their trade positions significantly. Lastly, people often confuse absolute advantage with comparative advantage. While both are crucial in trade theory, they address different aspects. Absolute advantage focuses on raw efficiency, whereas comparative advantage considers opportunity costs. It's essential to distinguish these to fully grasp economic patterns. As we move forward, you'll see more evidence demystifying these myths and understand how absolute advantage shapes global trade dynamics. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of absolute advantage, it's essential to acknowledge the criticisms and counterarguments that challenge this theory. Critics argue that absolute advantage oversimplifies trade, neglecting complexities like varying production costs and resource distribution. Some even suggest it could lead to monopolistic tendencies, stifling competition. However, proponents emphasize its foundational role in economic theory arguing it introduces a crucial framework for understanding efficiency and trade, laying the groundwork for theories like comparative advantage. By highlighting the logical reasoning underpinning absolute advantage, supporters suggest it facilitates a better grasp of how nations can optimize production and enhance global trade efficiency. These debates shape our understanding of global economics, paving the way for nuanced insights into international trade. Stay with us as we explore a compelling case study next, demonstrating absolute advantage in real-world scenarios. Let's delve into a real-world example to see absolute advantage in action. Consider Country X and Country Y. Country X excels in producing machinery, while Country Y is more efficient at agriculture. By leveraging their respective advantages, these countries can trade and specialize in what they do best, resulting in mutual benefits. Country X focuses on manufacturing machinery, producing at a lower cost and higher quality due to advanced technology and a skilled workforce. Meanwhile, Country Y dedicates resources to agriculture, benefiting from fertile land and favorable climate. This trade strategy boosts both nations' standard of living, fosters growth, and creates jobs. Absolute advantage not only enhances production efficiency, but also opens opportunities for innovation and cooperation. These principles can be applied to various scenarios, highlighting their universal significance. Stay tuned to understand the broader implications and explore contemporary case studies demonstrating absolute advantages relevance in today's global economy. As we conclude, let's revisit the essential points. Absolute advantage, introduced by Adam Smith, is a cornerstone of international trade, highlighting the efficiency and specialization of different countries. We observed how nations can produce goods more efficiently, leading to mutual benefits in trade. This theory has practical implications for how nations interact and grow together. Looking ahead, the principles of absolute advantage continue to shape our global economy, driving innovations and partnerships that transform industries. Embracing this concept helps us appreciate today's interconnected world. In modern trade, it reminds us that specialization and efficiency remain crucial for economic success. Thank you for joining us in this exploration. Stay tuned for more insights on economic theories and their real-world impact. Thank you for watching. If this video has sparked your interest in economic theories, don't stop here. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content and make sure to follow us for more in-depth videos. Dive deeper into Adam Smith's groundbreaking thought and explore our other videos on absolute advantage and its impact on modern trade. 
For those eager to expand their knowledge, check out the links in the description for further reading and resources. Your learning journey doesn't have to end here. Continue exploring, questioning, and understanding the world of economics. Keep engaging, stay curious, and let's unravel the complexities of economics together. Make sure you don't miss out. Subscribe now and follow along. As we say goodbye for now, remember, the key to mastery is continuous learning.